I'm originally from Kilkenny, and I came up, um, met Brian, my husband, um, he's from Hollywood, met him in Dublin in the early 80s, and uh, we got together, and I moved up here in 88, we got married in 88, so I've been up, I've been here since then, but I've, I've never lost the accent. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, no, I've deliberate, I deliberately should. sort of, you know, well, I knew, I knew if I didn't lose it in the first of the year, uh-huh. I was going to be, and then I was up and down to Kilkenny quite a bit anyway, yeah. because... My mum was, you know, was down there still, and she uh, passed away now. But, uh, um, and I've, I have a sister still living there, so yeah. That's great. Yeah. So you still got contact there. Yeah, the connection yeah, there. That's yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. beautiful. It is. It is yeah. a great, great wee city, and like I always sort of think Bangor could replicate what Kilkenny has done. Yeah. And I've spoken to a few people about it. You know, uh-huh. about doing, you know, linking the arts and music and food and you know that whole combination. I mean, Kilkenny has done it really, really well. You know, they've um, they they you know their 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 art scene is really vibrant and uh-huh. music, and then they've sort of you know now they're there's the the whole link with you know people making stuff and eating and food and you know it's it's good. It brings a lot of tourists into the town. Um, and it was only when I when I joined the Open House Choir that I suddenly you know sort of kind of found myself you know and. Uh, it's it's it opened an awful lot of doors for me. I I I wrote down a list of things. What did I? What was it? What were all the things that I I I all of a sudden said? Oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. And one was join the choir, and so I joined the choir, and that was it. And after that, I mean, I was involved with the ukulele up in Belfast, and then I started the one down here in Bangor. You know, mm-hmm. and once again the connections. Because people from Belfast come down on the Thursday night. Yeah. Not not very many of them, but yeah. a few of them will come down. Um, and the ones from Bangor now are beginning to go up to Belfast on the Tuesday night. It is. It is. It's nice because it means it means then that if we if we are if we're asked to do when well, we do a bit of you know playing a few nursing homes or uh-huh. you know learning disability groups or whatever or pubs or you know we've we've been asked to do lots of different gigs, but it, you know it means that there's a big a big pool of people to sort of say, I need fifteen or twelve or ten or whatever yeah. to to mm-hmm. come up. Who you know, hands up. Who can who can do it? Yeah. And uh, there's generally there's generally more than enough. Yeah. You know? I'm only playing five years. Um, I fell when I was working in juvenile justice, responding to a, a, a uh-huh. serious incident, and I fell and I broke. I broke my broke broke a lot of me but I broke my scaphoid um which is like a deep bone in your in your hand um and I was in plaster for 10 weeks um and it was really really sort of weak so it was one of the physio said to me do you play any stringed instrument because you're going to have tendonitis problems and do you play any stringed instrument I said like guitar or anything I said no and uh, she sort of said to me you know it's a pity you don't because that would help and uh, I had bought my son a, a uke, you know, the little, the little, uke, the little red one. I bought him that for Christmas present as a, like a bit of a silly present. Um, and he was playing it, and I thought, oh, he can play it, so can I. So I taught myself. No. And I think what 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 I like about them is, you don't actually have to be very good at playing if you're singing with a group of people yeah. because the voices will carry over yeah. anyway and then you know the instrument it doesn't yeah. really matter just it, you know it, it is really yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's you know i just sing louder yeah. <laughs> and we're also doing the sunflower fest sunflower oh, in yeah. hillsborough and then we're going down in august to the ukabuli in dunleary and we are playing on the stage this year <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty cool great you know plus i was when i was in the choir so um and the, the choir has given me opportunities i mean to play you know to be on a ted talks you know forever you know with, over the mac i mean yeah. that was just phenomenal yeah. you know yeah um and, and you know playing with gil landry and duke special duke special yeah. and yeah. yeah i mean all of those i mean just think oh, i've sung with them you know? <laughs> it's just it's amazing so it's these friendship groups that yeah. have built up you know, I mean, I'm, I'm friends with, oh, and right. there was this, there was a few of us, Elaine, uh, Kim, Lorna, Francis, and Paula Bat, the, you know, the, the you know, Paula, she's the, um, she's a clinical, uh, paper cutter down in, in the pods, 
we all joined the same night and we just happened because we're all newbies you know we all yeah. sat together and we have become like we've gone out and had dinner with each other and gone out drinking pints and right. yeah yeah no it's, it's been really good and you know i've met people that i would never have met in bangor huh? because because of that and once yeah. again that connection thing you know one, be, one person will introduce you to a group of their friends, or you go out with, or you meet them, or yeah. you know. So I, I yeah. I mean, my social circle in Bangor is, is huge now in comparison to what it was. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. It's great.